Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and I quickly want to show you how you can update Ableton Live 11. So you have different options on auto-updating. If you have Ableton Live 11, you go to your preferences, you go to license maintenance and here you are able to select three different options for automatic updates. So you can select never if you don't want any automatic updates. You can select ask me so this will mean in Ableton Live will show you if a new update is available and you can select update now for example or remind me later or you can turn on automatic updates so they will run in the background while you're using Ableton Live and you don't have to do anything. My preferred option for automatic updates is the ask me one. This way I always get informed when new updates are available. The always option is great for people who are using Ableton Live at home only, but if you are a performing artist, you might not want um, changes and updates to be applied just before a gig or if you're on the, on the road and using a mobile hotspot, for example. When you change your automatic updates preferences, Ableton Live will show a window to remind you that this will take effect after you restarted Ableton Live. If you want to update Ableton Live manually, you will need to log in at ableton.com. After you logged in, you need to go to account and there you will see all the different licenses you have from Ableton. Depending on the license you own for Ableton Live, your latest version will be automatically selected and you can just download it here. Once the download is finished, go to your downloads folder, locate the download and double click on the DMG or zip file. It will take a little time for your computer to open the downloaded file. Make sure to close Ableton Live before you are gonna drag the new version into your applications folder. So now you are able to move the new application into your applications folder. As you have an older version of Ableton Live installed already, a pop-up window will show up and ask you if you want to replace the older version or if you want to keep both versions. The default here would be to click replace. I have released over 60 free and premium Max for Live devices. To check them out, please just follow the links in the video description.